This person who's going to come on the stage for each one of us, for each one of our journey, he has played a role. Wherever we are today, he has contributed to it. And I'm sure when I ask my friends here, Gautam and Amit, they will agree that our lives were touched and changed. We were changed so that we can move ahead. Would you agree, guys? Yes, yes Alpha. You know, in fact, uh, I'll share experience. I think just three, three years, two years back uh, in Malaysia, when I and AVP Sachin were just about to go to the hotel room at two o'clock in the night at the Hilton, this person meets us down in the lobby. And then he says, let's go for a dinner. And I want to take you to the most exquisite five-star Italian fine dine in Malaysia. So we said, okay, if chief, I mean, sorry. Okay, he, he is, shh. Okay. So we said, if, if you want to take us, then there's nothing, know that we can say, okay? So we, we sat in the vehicle and we went, okay? And as we go, okay, he takes us to a good roadside, a small joint, and he has with us rice and fish at two o'clock in the night. He does not eat fish, but yes, I had. At two o'clock or three o'clock in the night, sitting at the roadside with the te tare. And what he spoke for the next two hours, okay, it touched my life that somebody who's there, been there for 18 years, works harder than all of us put together, okay, Still at 2 o'clock in the night, if he wants to change somebody's life, he will not stop till the time he's touched it. And that moment made me realize that I am not working hard. This individual is working hard than everybody of us put together. Would you agree? Believe me, from the time we start our journey, from the time each one of us starts our journey, this is the face which tells us what to do. Yes or no? The first phase, guys. You know, we've been sharing over the last three days. You've heard from a lot of, lot of people, all our appliance, our working appliance, their working appliance. And something, you know, we, we kept saying that you know, we sleep at peace because our working appliances are there. We know anything that happens, any harm that can potentially happen, they will take care of it. The world in QNET sleeps in peace because the person who's going to come is there standing by our side for the last 19 years. Every leader... Every leader in every possible market and his entire network sleeps at peace because they know he is standing by our side every step of the way. And he's been doing that for the last 19 years, day after day, day after day, day after day. And as Gautam said, working harder than all of us put together. My but first interaction with him you know, I still remember there was an NSS in Shamukaranda Hall, April 2012. That's the first time I ever heard him in person. Trust me, guys, the furniture changed beyond what I could imagine. And mentally, the decision that this is going to be my last ship was taken after I heard him for the first time. Second time I heard him in Vicon in, in September 2012. Jakarta and my third interaction with him sealed my fate in this life. That was the ISB boot camp. And I can't tell you how, how much I was struggling 
personally, in the journey, mentally, growth wise, and something happened. I also don't know what happened. But I, you know, since then I've been telling my team, three interactions with him can change your life forever. So are you excited? Guys, what you don't understand is, starting from your journey, you see a video called Eight Basic Building Block. Have you seen it? So when we start a journey, he holds our hand. Then he gives us belief when we go to week on. For a lot of us, for a lot of us, we got the... True or not? He gave us the click. He taught us how to dream. He taught us what is a dream? Yes or no? Every year, year after year, he comes on <clears throat> week on and says, Unbelievable! <laughs> Every Wednesday, a video comes. And that's for last three and a half years, close to four years. Every Wednesday, he comes and ensures that our belief is, remains strong. In all our life, especially all three of us, at one point or the other, he's not only touched us, he's shaken us and he made us realize that you know what, we can do it. True or not, VC Gautam? Guys, you know, there's a time in your journey, you look up to a few people. And there's a time when you require somebody to tell you straight on your face. And he's that one individual. He can make you smile. And the next moment, he can even make you cry. And he will tell you straight what you need to hear. And even, in fact, for the last few years that I've been sending him my, my tat or my target, I have missed. But it has never been that he's never forgotten to ask me, why did you miss it? So in spite of that working hard, he must be receiving around 3,000 WhatsApp messages every single day. But if he's decided that he's going to hold your hand, if he's decided that he's going to ensure that he takes you to the finish line, whatever may be the situation, he will be there for you. And that's what this individual means to us. The moment you hear about this company, QNet, there's only one name that will also come to your mind. Last couple of years, guys, personally, again, have been a lot of ups and majorly downs for me in this journey. And trust me, even there were occasions where I was completely stressed out, burnt out, destroyed mentally. And, you know, at that moment, if I was lucky enough to get an hour or two around him, around him, not even talking to me one-on-one, -on -one, right? Talking to a group and I happened to be the blessed soul around that huge legend we are talking about. The furniture, some magic would happen. Some magic would happen and I actually would think, you know what, how did I come to this room where he was sitting and addressing a few of us, in what state of mind, and in what state of, I don't know how it was, how bad it was, and by the time I left, it was completely not even changed. I was on my journey up here. That's the power this person has, guys. That's the power. I don't... I refuse to believe that there is ever anyone who will be feeling low, who is serious about his life, who comes in interaction with him, whose life will not change. That is the league of this person, guys. So if any of you are serious about changing your life, you're willing to listen to the truth and learn from him, your life is going to change right now. And that's a guarantee. 
So, this is called date with destiny. And today is the date. And believe me, everything, every word which comes out, if you hold on to it, if you just hold on to it, this journey will become beautiful. Because long, long time, my first week on, when I saw him and I looked into his eyes, because I also ran to get a you know, book signed. I was standing in the queue. And I was the last few who could reach there. Okay? And he looked at me when I looked into his eyes. I only saw one thing. So much love. So much care. So much commitment. It was, in the, his eyes were speaking. And as my, both of my friends said, that we sleep because he stays awake. On personal note, you know, I have heard that there are days when he doesn't sleep, on days, on days end. On a normal day also, anything before morning sunrise, no sleep. And all for whom? For us. We are privileged to have somebody who looks after us in good times, in bad times, whatever the time, he is timeless. He is limitless. You understand? And there are some special and there are some special individual, some special people who have a message for him. So hold your breath. Okay? Don't get too excited. Hold your breath and see what they have to tell you.
स्वैग से करेंगे सबका स्वागत so much you guys are unbelievable good morning namaste please have a seat we have a lot to talk about Love you too. Have a seat. Have a seat. Good morning. I know you're excited. But you got to sit down so we can talk. Okay, one more time and then sit down, okay? Date with destiny, make some noise! Okay. Now sit down. Okay. 
Sit down. Guys, I'm very excited to be here. For those of you who did not think I exist, at least today you know I exist for real. So have a seat. It's unbelievable to be here in Bangkok with all of you. Firstly, let me wish you Happy New Year. Welcome to 2018. And this is the first time this year I'm standing on a stage in front of and unbelievable dreamers and warriors of infinity. Now, we have to come to some kind of agreement, okay? Because, love you, bro. Love you too. We have to come to some kind of agreement. Firstly, let me make let me make something very clear so you understand. I love you too. No, I'm fine. Thank you. Let's come to an agreement. Love you. Love you too. Okay, to all the guys, love you, my brothers. And to all the girls. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Firstly, let me explain why I'm here so you understand. As you know, as chief, I don't love you. As you know, as chief, I do not attend private events of organizations because I speak at VCon twice a year, and that's the only training where I go up on stage and speak. But last year, somebody called me and said that I have to be here at Date with Destiny, and I have a problem. When she calls, I cannot say no. So the reason, the reason why I had to cancel a lot of plans in the first week of January and come and stand on your stage is because of one amazing woman that is AVP Kavita, your upline. So, she twisted my arm, threatened not to love me anymore if I don't come here. So I got on a flight had to convince a lot of people that I had to leave Malaysia in January to come here. Now I understand that the past two days, you have heard some amazing speakers come up on stage. Your uplines, the inner circle of Kavita and Sachin who came up on stage. And then of course, you had two of the most powerful V partners come up on stage Dave Vadwani and my own brother Sati Senati Raja. And I was, I was telling Kavita, after they have listened to so many great people, why would they want to listen to me? All right? And let me tell you something. How many of you have watched me on video? Okay. How many of you seeing me live for the first time? So I hope I'm as handsome as you thought I would be. But more importantly, all right, love you too. You see, all these, hey, 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 hey. all these women who are shouting, I love you, I hope your husband is not next to you, you know. If your husband is back in India, it's okay. 
if you don't have a husband, dreams do come true. Do you understand or not? So, firstly, let me come to an agreement with you. The next two hours, please stay awake. All right? And if I say anything the next two hours that offends you, upsets you, insults you in any way, from the bottom of my heart, let me say this in the beginning, I don't care. My duty as the upline is to make sure you succeed, is to make sure that each one of you max out with QNET, all right? And all of you are sitting on the chair, okay? From all over the world, from India, from UAE, from Kuwait, from Pakistan, from, from I don't know where else you have come from, all right? You are not ready to max out yet. So tonight, as the final speaker, of Date With Destiny, my duty is to get you ready for Max Out. Are you guys with me or not? So, we're going to talk. You listen. I talk. When I ask you a question, all right, like, are you with me? You must reply, yes, chief. Are you with me? Yes, chief. And if the person next to you falls asleep, Smack them. You understand, right? <laughs> now, I always tell Kavita, I always tell everyone who puts me on stage and gives me a microphone, I said, you are taking a big risk. Because I have a mental problem. I say whatever I feel like saying. I don't care what people think of me. Are you guys with me or not? And if you want to max out, that is the first rule of life. You mustn't be affected by what people think of you. Are you guys with me or not? So we start with a story. You like stories? I will tell you my story. No, let me, let me explain why. Because whenever I come on stage, I've been with this business now for 20 years. And I've been a downline of Dato Sri Vijay and Japadas Bismarck. Our unbelievable founders, my mentors, my teachers, for 20 years. And when I first started the business, I only had one wish, one dream. All right? I didn't want to be poor anymore. And I'll explain that to you in a while. I did not in my wildest dreams, think that I will come on stage and 9,000 people will cheer for me or even two people will know my name. That was not my intention. But today, when I come up on stage and in our little world, all right, all the AVPs, the V partners, they are like rock stars, you know, all right? At least in our world of QNet, the V and network marketing. But I need you to understand this, that you and I, we are not different. Just because I'm standing here and holding the microphone, just because Kavita, Sachin, uh, Dick Vijay, Amit, Gautam come up on stage, doesn't mean they are different from you. Because what you fail to understand, everyone who came on stage the past two days, many years ago, was sitting on the chair just like you. You understand? They were just like you. That we all started as an IR. We all started with a tracking center. We all started with our left and right. So I don't want you to sit there and look at me and say, wow, it's chief, it's Patman Senati Raja, it's unbelievable. Look at me and say, one day you will become better than me. Look at me and say, one day you will stand on this stage and talk to your 20,000, 30,000 people. Are you guys with me or not? And the first thing you have to understand, that we are all human. 
Kavita said, I'm not allowed to take off my shirt. But I wanted to show you that inside it's a normal body. It's not electronics, you understand or not? All right? We are not robots. Are you guys with me or not? And when people look at me today as an upline, as a success story in network marketing, they don't know that we all started as a baby. We all grew up. And I want you to understand that my life and your life, our journey before QNET is the same. All right? So I'll start with my story. I was born on the 24th of June, 1990. Listen. 1990. If I know when I was born or you know when I was born. Were you there next to my mother when I was coming out? No, right. I was there. So 24th of June is the important date. The year is not relevant. But for argument's sake, it's 1990. And all of you come from different parts of the world and different parts of India. And I was born in Malaysia. And I was born in a very small town. All right? I think this is important. Because people who are born and brought up in the city, high possibility they end up being morons. Are you guys with me or not? No, no, but growing up in a small town, there is a different value system. We look at life differently. So I grew up in a small town in Malaysia called Telo Intan. If you translate to English, it's called Diamond Bay. Very small town. Small. Very, very small town. And I grew up, I was born, I had two older brothers, Sati and Kuna. And you know by now, which is the best looking brother. <laughs> but it's okay. It is not their fault. I still love them. They are both my downlines. So you have to love your downline if you want to max out. Are you guys with me or not? All right? So, and I, I have a mom and dad, but I lost my dad when I was three years old. Now, this was not relevant to me when I was three years old. Because when you're three years old, you don't know anything. So when I lost my dad, like many of you here would have lost one parent or both parents, I don't know. If you have both parents, you are blessed today. And I'm telling you, I lost my dad and I never realized the significance of having a single parent until I grew up. At three years old, I don't even know what death or life means. And until today, I have only two memories of my father. Very weird, huh? let me tell you. First memory of him picking me up as a baby, like two years old, three years old, I think. And the second memory, he's already dead lying in the bed in the house, you know. Because our Hindu prayers, you keep the body in the house, then you go for cremation. And I never knew him. So I carry his name with a lot of pride, Senati Raja. But I never knew him. So when you don't know your father, you look for stories. All right? You meet his brother, his uncle, his classmate, and you ask them, how was my father? And then I heard a lot of stories, and today I'm proud to be his son. All right? That he was a great man. Okay? He was a great man, and he passed. He passed a great DNA to me. And I think that Senati Raja, for those of you all who speak Tamil, all right? Senati Raja means the king of generals. All right? It's not only a general, but you are the king of general, the Raja of Senatis. You understand or not? All right? So I always take pride that I'm a warrior in whatever I do. So when my dad passed away at three years old, my mom, all right? Amma was the only parent. So my mom was a school teacher, civil servant, worked for the government, very little salary, all right? And my mom, those days, you don't remarry and all that, you know? Nowadays, you know, husband dies, next month, they got a new husband. You understand or not? But those days, it never existed. The concept never existed. So my mother, who lost the husband at a young age, decided to basically bring up her three sons. As a single woman, all right, single parent with a government salary as a school teacher. 
And let me tell you, it's not easy. But my mom had this special skill, all right, of bringing us up without the concept of poor or rich. We didn't know anything. She brought us up, put us through school, whacked us every single day. Today, you can't even pinch your child. Social media will make one big story, correct or not? All right? Last time, there was no Facebook. If there was Facebook, my mother would be in jail. You understand or not? And my mother was a school teacher, so she was very busy marking papers and all that. All right? And she could whack while watching TV, you know. This is a skill. She watched TV and decides she's whacking. And I tell you an interesting story. Me and Sati are morons, okay? Because one day, Amma was whacking us because Sati's fault. I didn't do anything wrong. So her mother was whacking us and the cane is like a small bamboo, you know. And the cane broke. And she looked at us. We said, thank God. And she gave us 40 cents and told us to go and buy a new cane. This is called belief. You understand or not? So me and Sati crying. Me and Sati crying. He's riding the bicycle. I'm sitting at the back. The first three minutes, we like, <laughs> then we stop. We look at the 40 cent. We look at each other. And you know, when you realize how stupid you are, you look at each other like, bloody moron. Why are we going to buy the cane? You understand or not? It's like giving another bomb to Saddam Hussein. You understand or not? So, I looked at Sati. Sati looked at me, we said, screw it. We went and bought ice cream, chocolates, all nicely. Then we came back home late. My mother looked at me, looked at Sati. We were confident. Huh? So we looked at her like that. Because no cane. But you don't know mothers. They will adapt, adjust, accommodate very fast. You understand not? So that's the difference. Don't try to teach your upline how to do networking. You understand not? And so my mother called us. Trick. Called us. We sat down. Then she tried to do the psychological thing. You understand? Now parents, huh? Have you seen parents today? In the supermarket, the children take off the pan, shit on the floor. You understand not? And the parents said, Bacha, huh? This is the supermarket. You mustn't do this. Huh? You'd be a good bacha, no? Did our parents do that? Huh? <laughs> if we shat on the supermarket floor, huh, for one week you'll be holding your shit and walking around like that now. <laughs> True, no? True, no? <laughs> they will whack. So mother called us to the living room. We sat down. Me and Sati like... Then we realize there are two types of rulers. One is a short ruler, which we have in the house. But there is a long ruler, you know. Not the long 30 centimeter, the long one. And who has this kind of ruler? Only the school teacher. What was my mother's profession? School teacher. So she said, y'all didn't buy the cane, huh? No, ma, we fell down, coins went into the drain, all kind of stories, lah. She said, it's okay. She took out the long ruler. La. You know, when you watch Bajirao Mastani and all that, when, when Ranveer uh, Kap Singh, Singh, Ranveer Singh, Ranveer Singh pulls out the sword, you know the sound? <laughs> My mother pulled out the ruler. La. <laughs> and then we got whacked. La. And growing up, I know, I learned this art. Sati was the naughtiest. Kuna was good boy, go to school, come back home kind of thing. I was the smartest and the cutest. And when one of your brothers, when one of your brothers have the reputation of being naughty, you can do anything, you know. But you must learn to use your finger. When mother comes, point. 
And when you point, you point, you mustn't have that naughty look, you know. You must have the... You know, then Sati will get whack, he doesn't know why also. So we grew up, and I went to school. To be honest, I think school is a scam. No, no. Let me explain why. My mother told me, Apu, as she calls us Apu or Patman or Sati, she said, Apu, study maths. Without maths, you cannot make it in life. So I went to study maths. I focused a bit. School teacher, maths teacher was a lady. Easier to focus. <laughs> so I focus. And now I know why maths is a scam. Do you remember they taught us pi? 3.14. When have you used it lately? When? Do you go to the Pau Baji shop and say, Bye, sir. Pau Baji pie. <laughs> no, when? When have you used pie ever since you grew up? And then every phone has a calculator. How is maths important? And network marketing, no need maths. 3,000 BV on the left, 3,000 BV on the right, and you get paid. Any moron, any moron can understand. So we went to school, and I was more focused on the girls' school, which was next to my school, and my mother is a school teacher. I'm going to come down, you all don't get out from your seats, stay in your seats, okay? Relax, I'll walk around so I'm more comfortable. The camera can follow me, where's the camera? So I went to school, and that is when I realized why girls exist. See, until a certain age, you don't know why a girl exists, you know. They're just another kind of human being, you understand not? You got short hair, they got long hair. You don't know, you know, you're too young, correct? You don't know love. You don't know that feeling, you know. All right? And this feeling suddenly comes to a guy. Correct? Girls, it comes later. Because you all are focused on education and all this stuff. So at 12 years old, I fell in love for the first time. Oh. Hey, listen. I am chief. I have to do things fast. You understand now? I got to... I cannot teach you to max out until I max out, right? So I had to max out very fast so Kavita can max out those days. You understand not? So I fell in love. And love cannot be explained. It is one concept. They have explained atoms can split into, don't know what, nucleus atom. They have explained cancer cells. All right? Einstein explained gravity. Was it Einstein who explained gravity? Or? Huh? See? This is why you cannot max out. You understand? When your upline says, Einstein discovered gravity, so, wait. Who discovered gravity? Whether it's Newton, Noodles, or Einstein, does it make a difference to you? Gravity is gravity, you know. Bloody nonsense, you understand? So, but nobody, nobody has explained love. It cannot be explained. I have tried explaining love thousands of times. Right? And I'm smarter than most people in the area of love. But cannot explain. You try to explain love, impossible. Now, don't talk about mother, son, mother, daughter. That love is different. You understand? A mother's love, it's created by him. I'm talking about the attract attraction between men and women. So at 12 years old, I was playing marbles, all right? Everything I was doing normally, like you. 
all right? Boy, boy, boy lah. I was climbing trees, falling down, catching fish, everything. Then one day, all right, I sat in a, like a small mini bus to go to school. And I sat in my seat. And then a girl walked in, you know. And you know what I mean? And suddenly, uh, everything stops, you know. Do, do you know that? I thought I was having some disease or something. Everything stopped. And only thing you can see uh, is the girl. And suddenly, her hair will look longer. Even though there's no air blowing, but air will blow. And I realized... The only people who understand how to describe love is Bollywood. <laughs> True or not? Because you watch Bollywood, you said, Kya hai? Bloody nonsense, Bollywood. But think about it. The first time you fell in love, it was like Bollywood. So this girl walked in. Chinese girl. Because Malaysia, we got Chinese, Indians all mixed together. Kumbaya, okay? So Chinese girl walked in. I'll never forget her name. Leong Lai Fan. And remember, once you feel that love, everything else doesn't exist. Food doesn't exist. Marbles doesn't exist. Football doesn't exist. Everything erases. And I realize that if you want to max out, you must have the focus of love, you know. Because when you fall in love, huh, nothing matters. Nothing matters matters. It's almost like everything around you disappears and only she exists. And I realized that at the age of 12 and I fell in love with this girl. I never spoken to her in my life. I was in love. And from that day, you start hunting her down, you know. It's like a dream, you know. A dream will never come to you. You have to chase your dream. And how fast you run will decide how fast you get to your dream. So I realized I have to find out this girl. Who is she? Where is she from? And that's when I learned the power of network marketing. Right? You don't go and talk to her directly, she'll slap you. You talk to her close friend. Correct? Ladies, true or not? Her close friend now will go to her and get information. Then I found out her father was a carpenter. And she lives about 15 minutes from my house by bicycle. So after you fall in love with the girl, you only want to see her face. Nobody's face, you know. I looked at Sati, I wanted to slap him. I looked at Kuna, I wanted to slap him. My mother talked to me, I can't hear. It's only Leong Lai Fan. Leong Lai Fan. Leong Lai Fan. You sleep at night. You sleeping? Then suddenly you smile. Because you're dreaming, right? That dreams are empowered by belief, you know, right? That's why they say when you watch a horror movie and you dream, you dream about ghosts. So I don't watch horror movies. You understand? Before I sleep, whatever I watch before I sleep is very important to me. So I watch all my ex-girlfriends. You understand not? <laughs> Katrina, Deepika. I watch all Hindi movies. So I fell in love with Young Life Fun. And then I said, if you have a dream, go after your dream. So I rode the bicycle to a house. Then I heard a father is a strict guy. He is like the rejection king. You understand or not? Guaranteed to reject. So I used to cycle up and down her house on the road for three hours. You know, until I can see her. Alright? Presentacion, 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 presentacion. And then she'll come out lah in the evening. And I'm in the hot sun. I became black. No water. Cycling and cycling and cycling. Up, down, up, down. People thought I was cuckoo. And then when she comes out, even for two minutes, it's worth it lah. You know this feeling? Rain doesn't matter. Tomorrow go exam doesn't matter. Focus on your dream. And then my mother doesn't know about this. Tell mother means whack. So my mother said, listen, I'm going for a school trip. I said, which class, ma? 
She said, this class, who is a student? Leong Lai Fan. Now, all girls, would you go as a boy at 12 years old? No. Your friends will laugh at you, no. Right? You want to go with all girls, you understand not? But I told my mother, I'm coming, ma. My mother was confused. Why are you coming? This is a girl's trip. I'm coming. I love you, ma. That's why I'm coming. You can't go alone, far, far, and these trips all alone. Your son must come. My mother is confused. So I got my best friend. I said, bro, let's go. But when you are going to have a chance to meet this girl, you cannot go empty, no. You must go with something. So I wanted to sing her a song. Because somebody told me, when you sing a girl a song, she will melt in your hands. Is this true? Where did you learn this song? Bollywood lah. Everyone is singing songs. You understand or not? So I said, okay, I must learn a song. But that time there was no Hindi movies. So I had to learn an English song. All right? By this group called Starship. All right? A song called Nothing is Going to Stop Us Now. You know? I don't know whether they have it. All right? It goes like, Looking in your eyes, I see your paradise. I forgot. Now, last time there was no YouTube CD, iPod, nothing. Cassette. So you have to put the cassette, play, stop, rewind, play, stop, rewind, play, stop, rewind, play, stop, rewind, and write down the lyrics. Lah. Then I memorized it. Then I went on the bus. I sat at the back. My mother was in front. And 40 girls. And one of the girls is my dream. So after about half an hour in the bus, I thought to myself, I got to do this. So I took the piece of paper. Imagine, eh, 12 years old. I walked. I turned. She was sitting there. She doesn't know who I am. I took the piece of paper and I just started singing. Like an absolute moron. You understand? <clears throat> Looking in your eyes, I see your paradise. And wait, all the other girls laughed. My mother looked, turned back and looked and said, Oh my God, there goes the whole generation of the family reputation. But then, but then, I sang the whole song. Completed my task. No reaction. She was covering her face. Embarrassed. I went and sat down. At that time, I thought my dream has died. And at 12, huh, your heart breaks. You, know? you understand? So, we went to this place which has this uh, theme park. You know a theme park? Right? Rides, roller coaster, all of this. And there, there was a horror house. Ghost house, whatever you call it. So, I was depressed. I went into the horror house, I was walking. Darkness, nothing can be seen. And suddenly, I felt somebody come and hold my hand, you know. All right? Somebody came and hold my hand. All right? Okay, you have to let go now. <laughs> somebody came and held my hand. And I held the hand. It didn't feel like a guy's hand. I thought, you know, some guy wanted to hold my hand. So I held the hand and I walked. And you cannot see who it is because it's dark. And I walked out and I turned and it was Leong Lai Fun. So I, I learned at the age of 12 the greatest lesson that I applied in network marketing. That just when you feel like giving up, just when you feel that it's over, and trust me, every one of you, there's one guaranteed thing. Through your journey from now until max out, you will feel like giving up many times. I did. Sachin did. Kavita did. Dev Advani, Sati. All of us at some point felt like giving up. This means you're human. Lah. This means you're not a robot. So if any of you here right now has ever felt like giving up, then I promise you, that you will be on the stage one day sharing your story as a max out king or max out queen. 
Now, if you have never felt like giving up, that means you haven't worked hard enough. That means your dream is not big enough. Very important lesson I learned that then at 12 years old. That I gave up on Leong Lai Fai. I thought love doesn't exist. I thought it was over. And then she came and held my hand. And that was it. And I had my first kiss on the cheek with Leong Lai Fan when I was 13 years old. Today she's happily married, four children. Of course, when she looks at her husband and look at me, she has big regrets in her life. But nice guy, I don't know, then he's a very nice guy, good husband, good father. And then I went through life, fell in love many times. And then I wanted to study, all right? And in school, any moron can pass the exam, correct? You can copy from the left or the right, you understand, no? You just make sure the left is not a moron or the right also not a moron. And then after high school, you're supposed to study in university. Same with your country, yes or no? And in my culture, they only respect if you study engineering, lawyer, accountant, doctor. Four professions. If you go to your mother and say, I want to be an actor, tight slap. If you and say you want to be a football player or a cricket player, tight slap. Doctor, engineer, lawyer, accountant, nothing else. So I said, okay, I hate maths and I hate science. Remember science? Stupidest subject on the planet. <laughs> because, you remember science class? One liquid. You put another liquid, mix another liquid, nothing happens. Then you put a little bit of powder, it turns purple. Who cares? <laughs> How does that impact your life today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless it turns into vodka, then at least you can make some money. But it doesn't even turn to vodka. So maths, gone. Science, gone. Can I be an engineer? Cannot. Because if I build a building, it won't be straight. It'll be like that. Can I be a doctor? No. All right? Because you say you got a heart problem, I'll operate your knee. You understand not? Can I be an accountant? Cannot. Maths, gone. So only left with one profession, lawyer. Then I asked my mother, Ma, what does a lawyer have to do? Talk. <laughs> That's one thing I can do is I can talk. All right? 12 years old, I can sing. All right? Then I said, okay, Ma, I study law. I studied law and I graduated. During law school, I had no money. I worked as a security guard. I worked as a waiter. I worked as a driver. I did everything. That's why I have a high degree of respect for people who serve me today. All right? So when I go to a hotel, okay, anywhere, and the guys who follow me know, I will tip people in the service industry. Because when I was a waiter, it's the hardest job lah, ever. Do you understand? So in the service industry, I never shout. I never fight. I tip, I smile, I appreciate. They will look after you. Are you guys with me? You know? So one day, when you become rich, don't become an arrogant prick. Do you understand? Be good to the people who serve you. Alright? And then do the presentation. Are you guys with me? You know? Alright? So they don't have to work a waiter forever. So when I graduated, here the story gets interesting. So listen. I had to get a job. Now, I didn't know anything about the job concept. I thought job means you go there, you talk, they pay money. First rule of a job, my first job, I had a lady boss. And she said, you have to come at work at 9 o'clock. I asked her, sincerely I asked. I said, why? <laughs> she said, what do you mean why? I said, why is so particular 9 o'clock? Why can't it be 10.30, 10.45, 8.30, 6.45? No, no, this is the rule. I know it's the rule, madam, but I'm asking, why? 
So my first relationship with my boss already bad. First month of work, 9 o'clock, I came at 2.30 in the afternoon. Wait. Don't laugh. I have a medical condition. <laughs> I cannot wake up in the morning. <laughs> but I have a doctor's letter. Today, you can get a doctor's letter with a little bit of money. So I have a doctor's letter. Really, I have a doctor's letter that says I have a medical condition that I cannot wake up in the morning. So every day I went to work at 2.30. How many of you have a job? Like a normal, go to work, come back home, go to work, come back home, go to work, come back home. So there are a lot of morons here. Good. <laughs> so do you know how to go late to work? Be smart. Don't go late like this. <laughs> then you look suspicious. You must be like me. 2.30 I walk into the office like I was there the whole day. I just walk. Hey, bro, that document don't forget. I put it on my table. Huh? <laughs> hey, how? Lunch okay? Good, okay. Then they are confused. Though. Where was this guy? I was at my desk. Nah, where he didn't see me. What's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah, I think I saw you. Then they all confused, you know. Because last time there was no electronic fingerprint checking and all that. You understand, no? After one month, I left my job. Second job. Legal assistant for some moron. 15 days, I left my job. All right? Then I realized that I cannot work because working is illegal. It's illegal. Just think about it. Thousands of people do all the work and one person becomes richer and richer and richer and richer. Correct or not? This is illegal. This is wrong. Network marketing. Thousands of people do work. Thousands of people make money. Thousands of people become US dollar billionaires. Thousands of people become financially free. This is what I believe in. So I was jobless. And you know our mothers, huh? They take pride in their children. So my amma will talk to her sisters, you know, all these old ladies will talk together. Only, love you too. Only thing they talk about is their children, correct? So my mother said, Kuna had a good job. Even Sati. I don't understand which company on the planet would hire somebody like him. You understand not? He will press the wrong button and the whole company will explode. Kuna, okay. So Kuna had a good job in a property firm and Sati was hired in a company called Motorola, which now doesn't exist anymore. You understand? <laughs> and you know who brought the company down. I am telling you. Motorola was very famous last time, correct? Everyone had a Motorola phone. Now, where is Motorola? Because of Sati Senati Raja. He destroyed the company, I'm sure. And I was jobless. Love you too. Now comes the interesting story of this man called Vijay Ishwaran. That time he was not Dato Sri, he's Vijay Ishwaran. So Vijay Ishwaran, love you. Vijay Ishwaran. His school teacher, when he was a little boy, was my mother and father. You see, uh, people ask me, why did I join QNET? I said, I didn't join QNET. He wanted me to be part of QNET. Do you understand? Because you understand the story. What is the possibility? My mother and father were Dato school teachers, maths and English. So why Dato can speak very well? Why QNET is the most successful network marketing company? Because of my mother and father. They educated Dato Sri Vijay Ishwaran. So Vijay Ishwaran, in 1998, had this idea of a network marketing company. And he came back to Malaysia to get blessing from his mother and father. And 
my mother and us, we stay a few doors away from the mother and father. So Vijay Ishwan came to see my mother to pay respect, because you must respect your teacher, correct? From the past. He came, he asked my mother, how are the boys? He knows us, small, small, we used to play marbles with Ishwan. You understand not? Those days, lah. He wasn't my upline. He was my family friend. And my mother said, Kuna, okay. Even Sati is okay. But Patman, jobless, good for nothing, moron. Then Vijay Ishwaran told my mother, no problem. I will help you, auntie, since you taught me in school. I will give your son a job. Alright? So he hired me, paid me peanuts. I always tell him, what a scam, you are paying me so little money. He said, you didn't do anything. So first month of work with Vijay Ishwaran, all right? What time I came to work? Improvement, not 2.30, 2 o'clock. First month, I remember the accountant didn't want to release my salary because I never came to work, all right? So I was the legal and business advisor to QNET. In 1998, when they first started, all right? Okay, wait, don't clap first. And then, every evening, they had presentation in the office. Small, 40, 50 people. This was 1998, December, January 1999. And there was a speaker, like Aditya. Aditya will be there, top networker, unbelievable. He'll be presenting, all right? My job is to stand on the side. I stand on the side, looking good. After Aditya finishes the presentation, I will come in front. And exact, I still remember the script. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Patman Senati Raja. I'm a lawyer. And let me assure you that this business is 100% legal. Thank you. And then I go back. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. But you must understand, in 1998, this was a very important topic because we didn't have 10,000 people in Bangkok. We didn't have Manchester City. We didn't have our own tower in Malaysia. You understand? We didn't have 40 offices in the world. We had one small office in Malaysia. So people didn't trust us. And they thought it was illegal. So they needed a good-looking lawyer to tell them it's legal. So every day, this was my job. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And every day I got different position. Some like that. Some like that, you understand? But same stupid script. Then one day, Aditya, the presenter, called me and said, Bro, I can't make it. I'm stuck. Now, today you give me a microphone, I can talk to a million people. Alright? Anywhere in the world, no problem. But in 1998, to speak to 40 people, my legs were like this, you know. I was scared. Because it's not in my script. So the presenter, Aditya, called me and said, Bro, please help me. Please do the presentation. I have seen the presentation hundred times. Alright? But I don't know whether I can do it. So I went up. I said, ladies and gentlemen, there's a change of plan. The speaker is not coming. So you're stuck with me. Alright? So let me tell you about this business. It's very simple. I know why you are here. They all look at me. You are here because you are unhappy with your lives and you are looking for something. So now you buy a product from the company. When you buy a product from the company, you will get a tracking center. What is a tracking center? I don't know. It's not important. Then the tracking center has a left side and a right side. Why left and right? I don't know. That is not important. Now after today, all you have to do is go out and find two more unhappy people and bring them here and they will join and then they must go and find two unhappy people so we will convert this large group of unhappy people into financially free happy people all right so the aditya's presentation is 40 minutes my presentation until today never crosses 12 minutes you understand Right, because you are beggars, you know. You are beggars. You understand? Because you will present and talk and talk and talk until the guy 
says yes because he wants you to shut up. You understand not? Bus, I will sign up lah. You understand? I used to do presentation and the guy will say I got questions. I'm sorry, sir. Are your questions smart questions or stupid questions? He said, I don't know. You better be careful. You only can ask me one question. Because after this, I'm very busy. I have to present to other people who are very interested to join me. So what is your question? The guy who said, uh, uh, he's under pressure, you know. One question. He had 20. I said, I only have time for one. He said, uh, uh, is the business legal? I said, sorry, sir. That's a stupid question. <laughs> All right? Then I leave and I go to the next prospect. Are you guys with me? You know? And trust me, in two days, he'll be calling me and begging to sign up. Are you guys with me? You know? All right? Because the first person who asked me, is this business legal? I asked the prospect, are you legal or not? You understand or not? It's a stupid question. It's a stupid question. Is Bitcoin legal? Is driving a car legal? Is flying an aeroplane legal? Is sitting here today legal or not? You can answer. Cannot, right? So when somebody presents a business and a moron asks, is it legal? After your presentation, that means you did the worst presentation on the planet. Are you guys with me or not? Because when Manchester City signed a three-year contract with a company which is not legal? Yes or no? Yes or no? Think about it. Lah. So prospects today are stupid. Do you understand? Because they ask stupid questions. So last time, I never entertained. One question. Cannot be stupid, must be smart. Immediately, the guy will say, uh, I got no questions, sir. Then sign up. But I have a question. You just said you have no questions. Now, why are you saying you have a question? Do you have a question? Yes, but I don't know whether it's stupid or smart. High possibility is a stupid question. You understand not? Because I've given you all the information. Now, all you have to do is say yes or yes. Are you guys with me or not? Simple. So after my presentation, I went home. All right? After I presented on the board, one more thing I had to do. What? I left. I came back and said, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Patman Senati Raja, and this business is legal. And then I went. Hang on. The next day, I met Aditya. He was the presenter. Not this Aditya, different Aditya. I don't even think his name was Aditya. All right, but since he's standing here, we'll use him. The next day, he came to me and said, Patman, thank you. I said, why? Your presentation was unbelievable. Almost everyone signed up. You understand or not? In their presentation. And he showed me his check. Now, I called Vijay Ishwaran. I said, Ishwaran, this moron is earning more money than me. And I did the presentation. He said, listen, if you want to do this presentation thing, you must resign and become a networker. Do you understand? Resign and become a networker. Easy or difficult? Easy or difficult? Resign and become a networker. Easy or difficult? No. Not if you have a mother like mine. My mother has convinced the whole world that her youngest son finally got a job. Finally is working for a multinational company. Unbelievable. You understand not? She's bragging to everyone around the world. All her relatives. Patman got a job. 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 Everyone she's bragging. Alright? And I went home. And my mother is cutting vegetables in the kitchen. With a knife. And I went to my mother and said, Ma, ah, what? So proud, no. Because the son has a job. I said, Ma, I resign. And you don't know my mother. There was fire in her eyes, you know. Like an old Tamil movie, you know, when the lady gets angry. The special effects, fire will come like that. My mother had fire in the eyes and she was holding a knife. And what is the problem? How many sons does my mother have? If she kills one, how many she has left? Two. So that's the problem when you got two brothers. So I thought my mother was going to kill me. And then, after she calmed down, I said, Ma, I need to borrow money. To sign up and then I signed up in my first 48 hours of networking 
I signed up 22 direct referrals. All right? Wait. Don't clap. You know why you're clapping? Why are you clapping? Because you haven't done it. Correct or not? You did not sign up 22 people in the first 48 hours. Correct or not? That's why you're impressed. I didn't know anything. You know too much. That the greatest enemy in network marketing is knowledge. All right? You have too much knowledge. I had no knowledge. I was really an empty cup. I had one upline, Vijay Ishwaran. I asked him, what should I do? He said, sign up everyone in your circle of influence. That's it. So I went to everyone in my circle of influence. I said, sign up. I looked at Sati. I said, shut up and sign up. All right? This business is going to change our family. All right? We will either succeed or we will fail. But the power is in our hands, not anyone else's hands. You understand or not? All right? And I got everyone to sign up. I went to my best friend. I said, shut up and sign up. I found the answer to all our problems. We are going to be rich one day, inshallah. You understand or not? And I signed up everyone. I didn't want anyone not to sign up. Even if they didn't believe in it, I made them believe in it. Because you don't want your brother after five years to curse you because you didn't force him to sign up. When your brother sees you on stage as a max out king, max out queen, he's going to curse you, no. He will not congratulate you because you didn't get him to sign up. All right? I told Sati, we got nothing to lose. We got nothing to lose. Think about it. If you sign up today, and in three years, you become a max out king, max out queen. And you go up on stage as a US dollar millionaire. Your best friend will be happy or angry? No, no, no. Your best friend who didn't sign up. Happy or angry? Angry, no. Your brother will be happy or angry? So I never let my circle of influence go. I sat with them. I convinced them. I told them, listen, guys. Today, you can sign up with QNET, 2,000 US, 5,000 US. You understand? Is it big money or not? No, be honest. Is 5,000 US big money or not? You are morons. It is not. Go to your house after dreams. Open every cupboard in your house. And take out everything you have never used for the past 12 months and put it in your living room in the center. All right? How much will those things cost? How much? More than 5,000 US. So you have 5,000 US worth of junk and clothes and shoes, all right, that you have never used that is lying in your house. You change your phone every six months. You drink coffee for three US dollars in Starbucks or Barista. If you told your grandfather that a coffee is three US dollars, what he'll do? He'll slap you, no? Your grandfather. Your grandfather will say, Kya? Kidna paisa coffee? Hai? Oh, three US dollars, dada. One tight slap, you'll get correct, no? But you morons think that 5,000 US is a lot of money. It is not. It is peanuts. It's not money. You understand? On my body right now, I have more than 5,000 US dollars. Do you understand or not? So if you morons sit down here and think that 5,000 dollars is a lot of money, you will never max out. It is not money. My underwear is 400 US dollars. Kavita said, I cannot show you. This is all the limitations by Kavita. Other trainings I show. But she said Indians are very cultured. Correct? My foot. Because half of you now are imagining how my underwear looks. Correct or not? Half of you are thinking, 400 US. What color, what design, what material? See, he's also looking there. Don't look there, Baya. Look up. So is 5,000 US a lot of money, yes or no? no? I can hear you, yes or no? no? 
Yes or no? no? It is not. Because ask yourself, what are you getting for 5,000 US dollars? You are getting an opportunity to operate your own personal, global, international business that will give you returns in excess up to a maximum of 1 million US dollars a week la, you can earn. Do you understand or not? That means your entry is 5,000 or 6,000, I don't know what your entry is. But you can max out one tracking center, two tracking centers, three tracking centers, four tracking centers, five, five six, seven. Now what business can you start? Tell me la, honestly. India, Kuwait, Tunisia, Egypt, uh, Mongolia, pa Pakistan, all of you are here, you know. What bloody business can you start on this planet for $5,000? Right? You can sell pan on the roadside in Bandra. Maybe you can start a small shop for 5,000 US dollars. How much will your income be? Can you earn 10,000 US a week? Can you earn 20,000 US a month? So what are you thinking? What business on the planet today, international business, global business, backed up by the strongest network marketing company in the world, all right? Education provided, training provided, support provided. Everything is provided now. What did you pay? $5,000. Peanuts, man. Peanuts. I'm telling Trevor Kuna, the CEO of QNET, to increase the entry to QNET to $100,000. Yes or no? Because $5,000, what's your name? Magesh. Magesh, stand up. Now, this beautiful moron Magesh here, Where's the camera? Turn back. Yeah. Okay, here. Why are you looking at the screen? Somewhere there, there's a camera. Now, $5,000. He bought a product and joined us. All right? What is the product? Trevor will explain. How to use the product? All the experts will explain. I cannot explain. Do you understand? The same way, what is a tracking center? I don't know. I don't care. But the past 20 years, that tracking center has made me into a multi-millionaire in US dollars. Are you guys with me or not? That's all I need to know. So wait. Now this is Magesh. Let's say he paid $5,000, bought a product and joined QNET. All right? And joined Infinity, joined the V. Now, he said just now, I saw from there. I asked. $5,000, a lot of money. He was like that. Very excited. Yes, yes, a lot of money. Unbelievable amount of money. Correct not? Now, if he is not focused the next one month and he falls in love, get distracted, you know, he will forget the $5,000 in one week. There are morons you have signed up who have forgotten they sign up in one week. When you call them, remember you signed up in QNET? QNET? Kya hai QNET? Hey, kon hai? God, not people like that. God. So please don't be morons and tell me that $5,000 is a lot of money. It's not money. It is not. Your grandfather, $5,000 is a lot of money. Your one day expenses, even in a small village in Chandigarh, can be 20 US, you know. Can be 30 US, you know. You understand not? From Kana to alcohol to Bidi to Pan, you understand not? So he will forget. If he doesn't have an upline, who's your upline? Hmm? Upline who? Upline. Ah, you come here. <laughs> Relax. He's your downline. You're upline. What's your name? Pooja. Pooja and Magesh. Bagesh. Bagesh. Bagesh, Pooja. You all are upline, not boyfriend, girlfriend, right? No. She said, no. Her benchmark of a boyfriend is this. Correct, right? Huh? So, if Pooja doesn't keep Bagesh focused and switched on for the next one week, he will forget. 
The same fellow who said $5,000, a lot of money. He will forget. That's why I told Trevor, increase the sign up to 100,000 US. He won't forget, no. Can you imagine if all your downlines had to pay 100,000 US to sign up? They will never ever switch off. Are you guys with me, not? So let me ask a question again. Is $5,000 a lot of money? No! It's not even money. You understand not? Sachin shoes is $2,000, you no? Know? Chappal eh, chappal. You understand not? Kavita's dress is $10,000, you no? Know? And you are thinking, $5,000 is a lot of money. Your grandfather, yes. Your great-grandfather, yes. To you, no. Right? To your children, $5,000 is not money. Because they come and ask, Papa, iPhone eh? One iPhone today is 1000 over US, you know. And you morons buy and give your children. So is $5,000 for an international business with limitless income that allows you to do business all over the planet, is it a lot of money? First paradigm shift you must change today. Stop thinking poor and I promise you one day you will be rich are you guys with me or not all right so puja make sure he doesn't switch off make sure you promise me this and you promise me that one day you will come on this stage as a max out king yes or no all right Bagesh and puja I will remember your names but think about it you are sitting here today looking at us all right, and saying, wow, these people are so rich, they made it. Don't think like that. Ask yourself, when are you going to be like me? When are you going to fly first class? When are you going to buy a $400 underwear? You understand not? When are you going to be rich? Because when I first joined QNET, my dream was not complicated. Let me explain this to you. All right? We didn't have a coach. We didn't have an upline. Dato Sri Vijay was too busy running the company. I did not have any specific dream. My whole life, I was poor. Not poor like begging on the streets. Huh? Poor that we cannot afford things. Now, how many of you today experience the same experience growing up poor? How many of you? Growing up, Money was a problem. Growing up, you saw your parents struggle, all right, to put you through college, to pay for your education. That today, you see your parents struggle. So I grew up poor. I didn't have money. I had food, but no money. And when I joined QNET, I asked Dato Sri Vijay one question. I said, Ishwan, if I join this business, can I be rich? He said, yes. My dream was to be rich. I was sick and tired of being poor. I was sick and tired of watching my mother suffer every day to pretend everything was okay. Because when I grew older, I knew she was poor. I knew every Diwali, she used the same sari. And you know in our culture, Diwali, the mother, the woman in the house must change her sari. I knew my mother never bought jewelry. And at the age of 22, I was useless. I couldn't give her a single dollar because I couldn't survive. How to give her money? And right now, you morons are sitting on this chair. You fail to understand. The only reason you're sitting on this chair today, the only reason you got on the plane and came here, all right, was because of the sacrifices your mother and father made. Without the sacrifices your mother and father made, you won't be here. You won't be here. You won't even have the smallest education. You would be irrelevant on the planet. And today you say you love your mother, you say you love your father. They don't need your love. They don't need your love. They need your success. They need their lives to start again. First thing I met Sachin and Kavita many years ago, I told them, before you do anything for yourself, do it for your parents. Right? My first check went to my mother, whatever she wanted. Because you think your parents don't have dreams anymore. 
They still have dreams. They don't know how to say it. You understand? The other day I was doing a training with some leaders, I think with Sachin, and I told the leaders, before you buy your own car, buy a car with a driver and give your mother. Do you understand? You understand not? That's the first thing you must do. Are you guys with me? Now, wake up and smell the coffee. I realize that love alone cannot do anything. Lah. That money is a reality. But right now, your jobs, your lives, all right, where's your money? What money you got? Most of you, your life savings is not even $5,000. You understand not? Some of you work for 10 years. You don't even own a house. All right? All of you flew here on economy class, on budget class. Most of your parents and your family members have never gone overseas for holiday. You have a list of dreams that you have identified at dreams, date with destiny. My question is, how are you going to make the dreams come true? That's what you must decide today. Are you with me? And I realized at that point that the dream was important. That I was happy when Kavita told me that the theme of Date with Destiny is the dream. Now, I told you a story of Leong Lai Fun. Right? I know it sounds funny. 12 years old, I fell in love. But whatever said and done, that was my dream, you know. I cycle up and down in the sun to see my dream. When she was near, I couldn't breathe. Now, all of you have found your dream today, right? The past two days, every speaker came up and spoke about your dream. I saw the video. You had tears in your eyes, thinking of your parents, thinking of your children, thinking of the dream. But today, you must make a decision that it starts, that the journey to your dream starts today. That the dream is not something that makes you smile when you sleep. The dream must become a reality. Because just holding the dream in your hand is useless. If you just have that dream and you say, yes, I have a dream, what are you going to do about it? I need you to make a decision tonight that your journey begins here at date with destiny. Are you with me or not? So everything before date with destiny, forget it. You start a brand new journey today. And this journey requires you to pay a price. That to become a millionaire, to become financially free, is not going to be easy. Because if it was, if, if it was easy, you would already be financially free today. So I want you to think that today is the first day of your journey. The first day. And you are right now in Bangkok. You are in this arena with 8,000, 9,000 of your brothers and sisters. you got amazing uplines sitting there, speaking to you. So this is a zone where you are protected. That you are protected. Now when you walk out of the door today and you go back to India, to Kuwait, to Dubai, wherever you came from, when you go back, you're not protected anymore. You're going to face the real world. And the real world is not going to allow you to achieve your dream. The real world is going to steal your dream. Are you guys with me or not? That everyone out there who is not your downline, who is not your upline, they do not want you to succeed. Are you with me? But you have to decide that you want to succeed. That nothing, that nobody can stop you. And if you have found your dream, which I believe you have, that that dream must be something you are willing to fight for, that you are willing to die for, that nobody and nothing can stop you. Are you with me? Because right after you walk out today, 
Somebody is going to start, start to steal your dream. You're going to do a presentation and get rejected. So you have to make some tough decisions after walking out the door today. Leaving date of destiny and going out to the real world. You need to make some tough decisions that nobody is going to steal your dream. That after one rejection, are you going to give up? Two rejections, are you going to give up? Three rejections, are you going to give up? Ten rejections, are you going to give up? Fifty rejections, are you going to give up? One hundred rejections, are you going to give up? Five hundred rejections, are you going to give up? Wait, think. See, you're saying no here. You're saying no because I'm asking you this question. But when you go back tomorrow and the first presentation you do, somebody may reject you, you know. Possible or not possible? Possible. There are morons everywhere in the world. Your best friend is going to say no. Your cousin, your brother already said no. Your sister said no. Your own parents are not supporting you today. The reason why you are doing this. But you will have to face this every day. Every day you are going to face this. I have been in the business for 20 years. All right? I built an organization with over today, what? 18 million people around the world. All right? I am living proof that networking works and I still get rejected, Baba. Morons can actually say no to me. All right? Last week or two weeks ago, I did a presentation on the flight and the guy said, no, I'm not interested. I wanted to slap him and say, do you know who I am? But no need. Think about it. Being here, making the decisions here, doesn't stop here. The date with destiny is not a concert, you know. All right? It's not a celebration. All of you all scream, dance, sing. It's a place where you make serious decisions. And the minute you leave date with destiny, that is when the serious work starts. And I don't know what all your uplines told you. Let me tell you, there is only one thing you focus on. That is presentation, presentation, presentation. Are you guys with me, you know? That's all. That's the only reason you exist. Because if you want to be financially free, see the logic. Financial freedom in your dream. How do you get it? With money. No money, no dreams, you know. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. I know the Gurujis and the Swamijis of India have brainwashed you and saying money is not important. Only look for God. You understand or not? These are the same Swamijis and Gurujis who are multi-millionaires today. Are you guys with me or not? Are you guys with me or not? Money is not everything. Right? It is the only thing. Do you understand or not? No, don't misunderstand me. Because if you look at your personal life today, take 20 of your top problems, 18 of them need money to be solved. Two of them may not need money. If you look at your frustration every day, every husband and wife, 9 out of 10 of your fights is about money. If you look at every youth today, frustration is because lack of money. Now, we have to live in reality. You want to go to the Himalaya mountains, stand on one leg, all right, and meditate. Do it. But if you want to live in today's world, all right, financial freedom is the only way to make your dreams come true. Are you guys with me or not? Are you guys with me or not? So all the dreams you list down. Kavita spoke about dreams. A lot of the uplines came up and spoke about dreams. You tell me which of those dreams don't cost money. Which one? All right? Maybe becoming a better son is 50-50. Money or no money. You understand? But all your dream list needs money. Financial freedom alone saves money. Now, I'm not saying money is everything. 
do whatever it takes. I'm saying wake up and smell the coffee. If you want your dreams to become a reality, it comes from money. Money comes from your tracking center. Your tracking center is left and right. How your tracking center earns money? When there's BV on the left, BV on the right. Yes or no? You understand this? Yes or no? And where does the BV come from? Presentation, presentation, presentation. That's it. There's no other answer. Come for training. Watch my Wednesday message. Watch Sachin's videos. Follow the V. Come to VCon. Read books. All right? Read Dato's books once a week. No problem. But the only thing that is going to get you, get your dreams into a reality, take you to financial freedom, is presentation, presentation, presentation. And I'll do a demo right now. I will show you the reality of your mindset. So don't sit down here. Look at me and say, Chief, I have a dream. How many of you have a dream? Put up your hand. How many of you? How many of you have a dream that you are willing to fight for, you are willing to die for? How many of you? Everyone, yes or no? Yes. Put your hands down. Now, last week, before coming for Date with Destiny, how many of you did five presentations in one week? You see the problem? You see the problem or not? You have a dream, you know. But last week, before Date with Destiny, you didn't do five presentations. Because you are confused. You think that money doesn't come from presentation. You think that money comes from your attitude. You think that you can sign up. I love QNAT. I love Chief. Then you look up in the sky and Paisa will come. Hey, morons. We all done it before. I went outside my house every night. Don't be fooled. The only way that you will be financially free, the only way you will max out, the only way you will become a success story in this business, if you focus on one activity. What is that activity? You can't say it also with energy. <laughs> Louder! <laughs> Louder! Okay, who wants financial freedom? Put up your hand. Very good. Last week, before Date with Destiny, how many of these financial freedom hunters, warriors, you did five presentations last week. You see the problem? Huh? This is called a mathematical contradiction of fact. Alright? It's like me telling, I love Leong Lai Fan. I want Leong Lai Fan as my girlfriend while sitting in my room and staring at the ceiling. Cannot! You must go out. You must cycle in the sun. You must wait outside Leong Lai Fan's house. You must face the father. You must face the mother. You must sing a song in front of her and risk failure. And then, trust me, you will succeed. So you cannot sit down here and tell me you want financial freedom, but you're not willing to pay the price. Are you with me or not? So today, when you go back from date with destiny, you must start a new journey. Are you with me? Now, when I come back next year for Date with Destiny and I ask the crowd, it will not be 10,000 people. I told Kavita it will be 50,000 people. Are you guys with me or not? <laughs> and when I come and ask the question, how many of you? This is 2019. January 2019. Can we pretend? Can we pretend not? Close your eyes. This is December, uh, January 2019. I changed my hair a bit, different style. Open one button, okay. Okay. Now, alright? 
Guys, Happy New Year 2019. Welcome to Date with Destiny. It's unbelievable. Standing here today, I remember 2018 when there was 10,000 people in the hall. And today I'm so proud to see 50,000 people. Date with Destiny 2019. Make some noise. Now, I want to ask all of you with Date with Destiny 2019 a question. Last week before coming here to Bangkok, how many of you did five presentations a week? Now, keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. I told Kavita, she has only one goal, to achieve this. Because when I have 10,000 warriors who go out and focus on presentation, 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 I promise you, we will create thousands of max out kings and max out queens who will come on this stage. Are you guys with me? Are you with me? Are you with me? You see, it's 1.35 in the morning. 12.35 in the morning. I'm in Malaysia time. And you're tired now. You are sleepy. When I came on stage just now, I saw your energy. And today is the first day. It's after 12 o'clock. That means your date with destiny starts today. And if you don't have clarity what you are supposed to do, if you are not crystal clear what you are supposed to do when you go back, then there's confusion. No? Because look at you. Your happiness level is high. Yes or no? Your belief is high. Yes or no? Your passion is high. Yes or no? What to do when you go back? What to do when you go back? Now, don't go back. Catch your downlines, three people, and vomit on them, you know. Information. I went to date with Destiny. I saw Sati. I saw Dave. I saw Sachin. And then Chief came. All right? Chief is really as handsome as I thought he was. Unbelievable. Blah, 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 blah. No need. Shut up, go back to your country, land, go to your house, throw your luggage, see your mother, get her blessings, see your father, get his blessings, see your children, play with them, see your wife or husband. <clears throat> I give you eight minutes. Enough? Some of them saying eight minutes are cheap. Two minutes, basse. I give you I give you eight minutes, husband and wife bonding, and then get your ass out of your house and do a presentation. Because if you want financial freedom, if you want financial freedom, if you are serious about your dreams, if you are willing to pay the price, there's only one activity. Presentation, presentation, presentation. Now, next Friday or this Friday is closing week. Many of you are going to reach your homes on Monday or Tuesday, correct? By this Friday, each one of you must find two. No, 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 no. Yes or no? Repeat after me I can, I will. I must, I must find, two. find two. Now, you are thinking, okay, chief, I'm excited. I'm going to go back. All right? Like uh, Bagesh. Yeah. <laughs> because your belief is high, you know. You understand? You saw me. You understand? So now I touch you, your belief is high, correct or not? But then you're going to go, you know. You're going to reach the airport. All right? Then you're going to land in your house. Mumbai airport, Bangalore airport, wherever you came from. 
then you're going to become Indian again. See, now you're not Indian, no. Now you are an international entrepreneur. So the first rule, when you go back to India, don't allow India to make you Indian again. You change Indians into international entrepreneurs. Are you guys with me or not? So a lot of people ask me, what's your nationality? I said, millionaire. They say, excuse me? Which country are you from? I don't know. I don't care. My nationality is millionaire. You understand? No? That is how you answer from today onwards. You understand? Anyone asks you, hey, you, Indian? No, millionaire. So what's your nationality? Because your passport does not define you. You understand? Your passport does not define you. Your financial freedom status defines you. You understand or not? And this is a lesson you must learn. So don't let India change you after date with destiny. For three days, we have changed you from Indian into millionaire. Indian into Indian into? Indian. So from Indian mentality, we have given you millionaire mentality. So don't go back to Indian mentality. I love India. All right? I love Gandhiji. All right? I love Modi. I love everything about India. But I don't agree with Indian mentality. All right? I want you to have millionaire mentality. Are you guys with me or not? Because when you catch an Indian and tell him why you are not rich, how long he'll talk to you? If you find an Indian somewhere and say, excuse me, why are you not rich? How long they will give the answer? One hour? Two hours? Nonsense. They can talk for two months. <laughs> Correct or not? Because Indian mentality, there's an excuse for everything. True or not? True or not? There's an excuse for everything. Same with Malaysia. You catch a Malaysian and said, why you're not rich? What to do, sir? Why you're telling me? You know Malaysia, you know. You know this, you know. You know that. I met one guy and I asked this question. Whenever I meet somebody, I ask, are you a millionaire? <laughs> no, I'm not. Why are you not a millionaire? And you wait. You can make not one movie, you can make ten movies. So change your mindset. You cannot earn a million dollars. If you don't have millionaire mentality. You understand? This is the first rule you must take back. Millionaire mentality. Uh, millionaire mentality, number one, no excuses. Why you didn't do five presentations last week? Why? No, I'll, I'll do uh, five presentations. See, uh, if I met him in the aeroplane from Dubai to Malaysia six hours, he will explain, no. Actually, chief, I wanted to meet that prospect. Then his cat got pregnant and the cat was delivering the little cat. He had to go. Then I had another prospect. That prospect likes me one type, so I didn't want to go alone. So I waited for my upline, but my upline got stuck in the jam in Bandra. Then on the way, the upline met with an accident and then the cow got hit and then the police got involved. And then after that, I googled cow accident and I saw some negativity and I followed the wash too and my Guruji and Swamiji said, if a cow meet with an accident, you shouldn't do a presentation. That's why I'm sitting here and I'm not rich. Are you guys with me or not? Wake up and smell the coffee. No excuses. First rule. Why you didn't do five presentations last week? Because you don't have a dream that is big enough. You don't have a dream that you're willing to die for. You are in a comfort zone. You're not begging on the streets, you know. You still got kana, you know? Correct or not? You don't mind being poor. The biggest reason why people don't become rich is not because no opportunity. QNET is the greatest opportunity on the planet today for somebody from a nobody to become a somebody. From nothing to max out. It is the greatest opportunity. But 
We got millions of people in our network. But not everyone is maxing out, no. And people came to me, one, some Gora somewhere, some moron, came to me and said, you know, Patman, in network marketing, not everyone becomes rich. I said, really? In the restaurant business, not everyone becomes rich. In the airline industry, not everyone becomes rich. Look at Vijay Malia. You understand not? Kingfisher is now underwater fish. You understand not? <laughs> All right? In every industry, you think every IT guy is Bill Gates and Steve Jobs? No. That every opportunity is equal. That means all of you today have the same opportunity as Sachin, Kavita, Vivek, Dev, all right, Gautam, Digvijay, Amit Soni, Aditya Balla, Aditya Lunawat, Mehul, Mac, Rakesh. You all, all have the same opportunity. Same, same PC. Do you understand now? But you are comfortable being poor. You're not angry, you know. I got angry. Every time I saw my Amma, God bless her soul, every time I saw her, I said, shit, I'm not doing enough for my mother. I have to work harder. I didn't sleep. I personally asked Sati. Me and Sati together would do 40 presentations in one day. One day, 40. Don't clap. We don't know it's good or bad. We just did it. Because we were hungry. We were angry. We looked at Amma. We looked at our house. We looked at our car. We said, no more. We cannot be poor anymore. We must be rich. I asked Dato Sri Vijay, what's the answer? Presentation, presentation, presentation. So I went to a prospect. The prospect said, no, I didn't dance. I went to the other one. You morons are showing one presentation a week. One a week. One. You think you have won the Olympic gold medal in the Olympics. When you do one presentation a week, right? Can you entertain all their questions? Yes, a lot of time, you know. Sit down in barista coffee. Huh? Bolo? Kidna question. 100 questions. No problem. I didn't have the time. Because if 1 o'clock was my appointment, my next appointment was 1.20. 20 minutes. Presentation? How many questions? You only allowed one. Cannot be stupid. What is it? Uh, uh, is the business legal? I straight away go here. I don't even answer, you know. I do presentation. Then I do presentation. I do presentation. I come back home. I meet my leaders. Next day, everyone do presentation. You guys got too much free time. That's why Hindi movies are very negative. Hindi movies from the start until the finish. If you take a Hindi movie and give it to a Bollywood, I mean Hollywood producer, they will make it into 20 minutes. Correct or not? Start, climax, ending. Correct or not? You all must dance around the tree. When kissing scene, suddenly birds are kissing. Correct or not? Correct or not? Birds are kissing. I sometimes don't understand. The girl is coming to the guy. Suddenly change. Two birds kissing. I said, what? How these people change into birds? This is this a love story or a horror story? You understand? And then first night, husband and wife. Have you watched or not? First night. All right? Can't go direct. They must sing a song first. Tujhe dekha to he jana sanum. Like, like every button is one song, you know. And then when they're almost together, the milk will spill. Have you seen this? The cup of milk will fall down. Then I, first time I saw Hindi movies, I was confused. I said, what is that milk doing there? They are there, the milk are spilling here. What's the connection? Where's the ghost? That, that is the problem. Why Hindi movies are so long? Too much free time. Why are you doing one presentation three hours? Too much free time because you don't have prospects lined up.
Now you come from a country with 1.4 or 1.3 billion people. You are the fastest growing economy in the world. There are more Indians outside India every day. Thousands of Indians are flying out to conquer the world. They said by another hundred years, every human will have Indian blood. Do you understand? The Travers relatives will all be Indian. Do you understand not? From Trevor, he'll become Tirupati. <laughs> Dana Lakshmi, you understand or not? It's going to happen. But you've got too much free time. Change. When you go back, you got a job. Your job is 9 to 5, 9 to 6. After that, what is your number one focus? Presentation, presentation, presentation. Only then can you come on this stage. Only then can you be financially free. Only then can your dreams become a reality. Are you guys with me or not? Are you guys with me or not? You follow me? I'll show you what happens in your organization. Go on stage. You? Go on stage. You with this jacket? Go on stage. Don't be scared. Okay, you come. Since you put up your hand, you're the only one who put up your hand. You don't even know what I'm going to do. <laughs> All right? You, go on stage. You, trying to look like me, go on stage. No, don't worry. This is not a competition or something. I want to show you, all right, what it means, the journey you are on as a networker. All right? Okay, you, since you have both hands up, go. How many now we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right? Yeah. Eight. Two more. I go on that side. Are right, you? Front row, go. Now you sit down. Okay, you. Yes, go up. Now I want to show you exactly what happens in network marketing. I want to show you the journey that people go through in network marketing. All right? And we are going to do something very simple. We're going to start the journey there. Go and stand there at that end, just below the steps. Can you stand there? Yes, don't worry, you fall, it's okay, we'll help you. Don't fall, huh? Okay, you go to the edge, edge and stand there. So I got 10 people like you starting the business. And they want to reach here. This is financial freedom. This is max out. Are you guys with me or not? Now, I don't know how you signed up. Whether somebody did a presentation, didn't do a presentation, whether you are hot zone, warm zone, cold zone, doesn't matter. You are here. And you cannot be here if he doesn't want you to be here. Yes or no? Agreed, yes or no? So you're already here. You're part of a network marketing company called QNET and your upline organization is called The V. The V and QNET today together has become the most powerful organization in the whole industry of network marketing. Are you guys with me or not? We are the biggest in Africa. We are the biggest in Middle East. We are the biggest in Southeast Asia. And in 2018, we will be number one in India. Are you guys with me? And the only way that QNET can be number one in India, very simple answer. Presentation, presentation, presentation. Are you guys with me? So this is how a journey starts. Now, when you start your journey of network marketing, everything is a step. Every step of the journey is a step. So let's take the guy in the middle, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So you are the upline. What's your name? Radhi. Radhi, Radhi Sham. Radhi Sham. So Radhi is the upline. Now everyone assumes the upline knows everything. True? 
True or not true? Not true. Depends. Whether he signed up two days ago, how will he know everything? So he is following a system. The system you have from Kavita, from Sachin, from Dev Badwani, from all your uplines is a proven system. So don't question it. Don't analyze it. Shut up, listen and do. Alright? Their system comes from the V. The Dato Sri Vijay and Japa, our founders, our mentors, our uplines, created this system 20 years ago. So don't try to be an expert. The first rule in network marketing, there are no experts. I am not an expert. Alright? All of you think, chief, you're the expert. I'm not. I just shut up, listen and do. Now this person starts his journey. His belief, his belief, when he signs up, high or low? High or low? High. Because somebody convinced him this is something great. He believed. Alright? Then he went one step and started doing presentation. He started doing presentation to hot zone, hot zone, hot zone. Brother, sister, uncle, auntie, best friend, correct? And many of them rejected him. Now when he gets rejected, his belief weakens. Do you understand? The belief weakens. Now, when your belief weakens, all of you practice, shake your legs like this. You also. Okay, very good. You all don't do, he's doing. So he did 10 presentation, 9 rejections. What happens to his belief? Don't stop now, why? <laughs> this is what happens to networkers. Their belief, their foundation is weak. They cannot stand. Because the networker is supposed to stand like me. You understand or not? Confident. Alright? Follow me. I'll take you to financial freedom. That's what a networker is supposed to do. But after nine rejections, what happened to him? What happens to you? In reality, all of you went through this. After signing up, your belief was high. After doing presentation and getting rejection, your belief was shaken. Yes or no? Now, when his belief is shaken, right, how long can he stand like this? How long? How long? How long can somebody stand like this? Not easy, you know? Why are you stopping? Why? Uh. So this is the upline. Lah. This is who you're following. Can he stand or not? Can he continue? After a while, your leg feels a bit weak. You understand or not? Correct or not? How old are you, Abu? How old are you? No, life. Uh, 24. 24, you can do much longer. La. You want to have children or not? One day, do you want to have children? You want to get married and have children? After some time. After some time, yes or no? This is very good exercise. Seriously. If you do this, everything becomes stronger. Do it, do it, do it. So this is the upline. This is the upline. Alright? After nine rejections, he's like this. What does he need? He needs belief to come up. So the belief can come up from his upline. His upline come and say, bro, don't worry. Rejection is usual. I got rejected. I know how you feel. That's exactly how I felt. This is what I found out. Watch this video. Watch the Wednesday message. Watch the eight day signaling blogs. Talk to Sachin. Talk to Kavita. Come to our event. Come to our system. What happens? Do this. And then stand up. This happens. Now his confidence has come back. True or not? Now, without a system, without an upline, his confidence cannot come back. And many of you right now, before date with destiny, how were you standing? Everyone stand up. Many of you, many of you, many of you before date with destiny, how were you standing? Show me. Shake it. Show me. Show me. 
and then you came to date with destiny, what happened? You're back. Are you guys with me or not? So show me again. Before date with destiny, rejection, best friend rejected, brother rejected, Google negative news, newspaper negative news, morons, everything. Then you came to Bangkok, you came to date with destiny. <laughs> Do you understand now? Now imagine, if you didn't come to date with destiny, what will happen to you? Correct or not? You'll be down. You'll be gone. Cannot do presentation. Cannot convince people. So now I got him back. He switched on. Are you guys with me now? Now he did presentation and he signed them up. Nine amazing people. He signed them up. Now he wants to take the next step. To earn a check, correct? Now, can they take a step or not? Cannot. What is their first step? Presentation, presentation, presentation. So now, everyone, through two of you come here, two of you come here, the rest of you go at the back, right? You take one step. Congratulations. She did her first presentation, sign up. Next presentation, rejection. 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 Now what must he do? He must give confidence. He must give hope. He must increase belief. He must bring her to date with destiny. He must put her through the system. What happens? She's back. Are you guys with me now? Now, she takes a step. Very good karma. Brother said yes. Mother said yes. Father said yes. Best friend said yes. Boyfriend said yes. Everyone said yes. Is she okay? Yes. He takes a step. First sign up, mother. First presentation, amma. Mother said, bloody moron. If you ever join this company, I will slap you and disown you. What happens to him? <laughs> Lower. What's going to happen? Can he help or not? Can he help? Cannot. This is a serious case. You saw how low he's going. Serious. This one, normal upline cannot help. So what do you do? I am standing here. Now you call me. Chief! So I am many miles ahead, but I hear my downline calling. It's like a Hindi movie. Now I can come. 20 years experience. Expert. I see it. I already tell him. First rejection, mother, correct or not? Then I tell him, listen, my mother said the same thing your mother said. But today, she's the biggest believer in the business. And the only way you can convince your mother is become successful, max out, earn a check, and your family will believe you. Are you with me? Now, he takes a second step. They all take one step. All there take one step. Right? Now, all five of them, bad, six of them, bad karma. First presentation, rejection. How many of you? First presentation, rejection. Unbelievable. The most painful, the most painful rejection is your first presentation, rejection. Correct? Because you are already, you are setting, you, you did everything, you learned the script, you did everything right. 
And the first rejection, you get rejected. So the six of them get rejected, first rejection, all the six of you. No, no, the three of you, okay, the back six. All right? What happens? He's too busy. They are all busy. I cannot reach them. They must follow a system. Watch the Wednesday message. Jump. Wednesday message. Wednesday message. Wednesday message. Wednesday message. Wednesday message. Second, second rejection. Again. Sachin's message. Sachin's message. Sachin's message. Sachin. 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 All right? Do you understand? So the system can look after your people. But you have to follow the system. Are you guys with me or not? So now, he takes the next step. And he earns a big check. Are you guys with me or not? Now when your upline is successful, what happens to your belief? Your belief grows with your check. You see Sachin Gupta, Kavita, all come up here and speak. I saw them 10 years ago. 10 years ago, they were like this. Are you guys with me or not? They came to Vicon and they became like that. But today, they stand on stage as living proof. Max out kings, max out queens. And it's easier to follow success. It's easier to follow success. So if he gets a big check, can they follow? Yes or no? Can they follow? Can they follow? So take one big step. Three of you come. You stop. Two of you come closer. You stop. Two of you come. You two come here. You three take one step forward. You come here. Now, why is your organization like this? Why is it not everyone go together? Why? Because everyone's mindset is different. Every person has to be mentored differently. And success is the greatest motivator. So she got one check. All right? He got one check. One check. No check. All right? Example. No check. Have not earned a big commission. Now you come here. You don't move. He will try to move you. Alright? Try to pull him here. Yeah. Pull. You don't move. Try to say pull. 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 You see, when you try to pull somebody, don't move, huh? stay. When you try to pull somebody who has not earned a check, it's not easy, you know. Do you understand? Huh? But if she has earned a check, huh? one finger I can pull. Because her belief is high. His belief is low, you know. You understand? No? Now I can motivate him. I can tell him, don't worry. It's coming. Alright? Remember Sachin Gupta? He didn't earn a check the first two weeks. But he never quit. He kept pushing himself. He never gave up. And today, he's a max out king. You can do it. Possible or not possible? But hard work. But look at this. So if you are upline, which is easier for you to do? This? Don't move, huh? Or this? Hold the mic. She got no checks. How to pull? You are upline. You are upline. How to pull? And then he at the back, no check. So I'm pulling him. Don't move. I'm trying to pull him. This is what uplines are doing. Uplines are struggling to pull their downlines because you are focusing on the wrong thing. If you stop, and remind him that he has to focus on presentation, presentation, presentation. Remind his downlines, presentation, presentation, presentation. 
he will earn a check. When he earns a check, one step. When he earns a check, she believes. She doesn't care about him. She doesn't know him. You go and stand in front. She said, who's that guy? I don't care. This is my direct referrer. If he cannot make it, I cannot make it. I don't care about him. I don't care about Sachin. I don't care about Chief. I want to look at him. He brought me into the business. Why hasn't he earned a check? Because he has Indian mentality, not millionaire mentality. Are you guys with me or not? All right? So full of excuses, no activity. So he came with date with destiny. And date with destiny, he realized that the most important thing is... Now he takes the next step. Everyone take one step. Now, everyone take one step except you. You take one step. One step. Everyone take one more step. Now, why is she left behind? Why is she left behind? Because the biggest mistake networkers do is they give up on people. They give up on people. The first mantra Dato Sri Vijay taught me, Patman, never, ever give up on people. Never give up on people. I don't care who you are, where you are from. I promise you that we will not give up on you. Are you guys with me? Now she is there. It's very easy to give up on her. She's so far behind. What happened to him? He's earning 5,000 a week. He bought his new Mercedes. Now you do the success dance. Yes. This is the success dance. While he is dancing here, he's blind to see her at the back. The first rule of leadership, every time stop and check behind. When you check behind, you must see who's earning, who is not. So you know who is that? Who is that? You don't know, you know. That could be Kavita. Do you understand? Alright? So even as an upline, no matter how busy I am, I will always go and check what's happening. And we don't know. Maybe she lost somebody close to her. Maybe she's afraid. Maybe there's too much negativity in the family. We never leave anyone behind. This is family. This is a team. This is infinity. Are you guys with me or not? And then, I don't pull. You cannot pull people like this. Cannot. You have to stand by your side. Put your hand like this. And take one step together. And one more 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 step together. That's the only way. Leadership is by example. If I want her to do presentation, I have to do presentation. I cannot order her to do presentation. I have to do it with her. Monkey see, monkey do. Any leader, whoever you are, never stop presentation. Then it becomes a culture. Now, this man, Takes another step. Everyone take one step. You take three steps. Here, one more step. One more step. One more step. One more step. The beauty about network marketing, you can be behind. But if you have a dream that you are willing to fight for and die for, you can come in front any time in network marketing. So it doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter where you are. Now, everyone here. Don't worry, bro. I'm coming to you. He's so depressed. He said, Kya, bhaiya, why I'm here? Now she's happy, you see? Now, suddenly, negative media in the country. Possible or not possible? Negative media, correct? 
What happens to everyone here? All of you now, like this. You also. Everyone. Faster. Move the legs. Come on, you need to exercise. You want to have children. Come on. <laughs> so one negative media can create this. Can create this. Stop. You know what's the mistake? He made money. But this did not go stronger. When you make money, you have to become a stronger warrior for your downlines. So when there's negative media, his leg can shake. 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 But he can never shake. As a leader, you have to be a warrior. Now he turns around and he tells them, listen. Remember your dream. Never give up. Move your hands. Don't talk. Follow my speech. Remember your dreams. Never give Remember your dreams. Remember your dreams. Never give up. We are not giving up on you. You don't give up on yourself. Are you with me? Are you with me? Are you with me? Let me start. All right? One more step. Everyone, one more step. One more step. One more step. Now you stop. One step. One more step. One more step. One more step. Stop. Turn at the back. This is the biggest mistake leaders make. Leaders, when they are focused on their dream, they cannot forget the dreams of their downlines. This business is not only about your dreams. This business is about the dreams of your downlines. So you see, now, what's the distance? Is he happy? Yes or no? Yes. But he cannot sustain till financial freedom. Because you cannot max out alone. You cannot be a millionaire alone. You need them. And if your checks are growing, their checks must grow. The bigger their checks, the bigger his checks. Are you guys with me now? So the focus is on them. So come back. Take two steps. Stop. Turn around. Take two steps. Stop. Turn around and look here. Wait. Stop. Look here. Now when he sees this, can he help them? Yes. So everyone take one step. Everyone take one step. You wait. Everyone take one step. Now turn around again. Take one step. One more step. Turn around. Look here. Wait. One step. One step. Now, look at that. Look at that. Now, this guy is left here. And many people in network marketing are here. They are forgotten. They are ignored. They are taken for granted. They are neglected. He's not bad. He's not good. He's just neglected. But look at that group. They've all moved forward. All right? Whose fault is this? Whose fault? All right? He's not the number one leader, no. He is the closest. Come here. He is the direct referral. I always tell people that everyone needs somebody to watch over them. So if he is the direct referral, it's his duty to watch over him. Are you guys with me? So you have signed up many people who have not switched off, but are not very switch on. They are 50-50. It's your duty to support them. He cannot wait for the number one upline to turn and look. He has to turn. Every step, he has to turn. So in network marketing, do you walk like this? Do you walk like this? No. If you are a really good leader, you will learn to walk like this. 
Look. Come back. Pull him. Keep walking. Keep walking. Let go. Walk. Turn. Push forward. All right? Turn back. Pull. All right? Turn here. Push this guy. Push her. Push. So a networker, a leader, doesn't stand in front all the time. A leader has to dance through his organization. A leader cannot be driven by ego. His success will only come for them. Are you guys with me now? Now, if she doesn't have a check, will she keep walking with him? No. The key to network marketing is commission. Why did you join network marketing? To make money. Why did you join QNET? We have the most attractive commission structure in the world. But if you don't earn money, you won't move. So every week you have to earn money, correct? Where does money come from? BV. Where does BV come from? Presentation. So how many of you last week did five presentation? Hands up. How many of you this week going to do five presentation? Hands up. How many of you by this Friday are going to find two? Hands up. It's simple. Focus on the most important activity in network marketing. Now, all go back. All go back. And this is how the network is after date with destiny. Are you guys with me or not? After date with? Okay, stop. Same arrangement just now. All right? Every step he takes, you take one step. Okay? This is how networking is supposed to be. All right? Take one step. Everyone, one step. Next step. Keep walking. Next step. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Keep walking. Faster. Follow my pace. Date with destiny. Week on Malaysia. Follow the system. Upline. AVP Kavita. AVP Sachin. We partner Dave Advani. And you reach here. Everyone here. This is what you want to achieve. This is what a network should be like. Are you guys with me? Now go back again. Now, date with destiny, January, month of April, week on Malaysia. All right, in between that, your systems. In between that, presentation. In between that, Wednesday message, videos. In between that, all right, presentation, presentation, presentation. Never sleep, never eat. Don't fall in love. Don't get married. Stay focused. Are you guys with me now? Now, the networks we have built around the world, the networks around the world, everywhere, is growing differently. You know what my dream is? My dream for India to be number one, for QNET to be number one in the world, all right? You know how it can happen? If he and all of them have a dream that they are willing to fight for, they are willing to die for, a dream that is so important to them that they're never going to give up, all right? And from the first day they sign up, they don't walk, all right? They don't walk. They run. Do you understand? Wait. They run. Because in network marketing, you can run. If you have a system, if you have uplines like Kavita, if you have uplines who are dedicated, if you belong to an organization like Infinity, from the day you start until max out, you can run all the way and be the fastest max out queens and max out Kings in QNET. Are you with me? So you know what organization I want? I want an organization like this. A group of people who have a dream they're willing to die for and fight for. And when I count to three, I want you to run until here. One, two, three. This is the organization. This is what must happen all over the world. This is what must happen. Now, is this possible or not possible? Possible or not possible? What's the answer to this? What's the answer? Presentation, presentation, presentation. Are you guys with me or not? You are focused on the wrong things. 
if this group of people just focus on presentation, never switch off, don't allow negativity to affect them more than two minutes, they can succeed very fast in network marketing. That your dreams cannot come through after 20 years. You cannot wait for 30 years for your dreams to come through. You want your dreams to come through now. Are you with me? And this is what you must focus after date with destiny. After date with destiny, this is what you need. You need this. You need max out. You need financial freedom. You cannot waste time. You cannot have excuses. You have to stop having an Indian mentality and have a millionaire mentality. Are you with me? Yes, Are you with me? Yes, now get down. And I want you to listen carefully. Each of you, stand up. Everyone, stand up. Stand up. Now, how many of you found your dream at Date with Destiny? I want you to remember that dream and repeat after me, I have a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream. Put your hands down. Now, I want you to listen carefully to my voice. Each of you standing here today, if you have a dream, you must be willing to fight for it and die for it. That dream you have in your mind, that dream must move 12 inches down to your heart. It must be something you're willing to fight for and die for every single day. That I don't care if the negative media exists, if Google is against us, if the whole world is against us. I don't care because I know that when you put 10,000 dreamers together, nobody and nothing can stop them. Are you with me? I want you to put your hand on your heart. Remember that dream you found. Close your eyes. Remember that dream. Now I want you to repeat after me. I have a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream. Now open your eyes and look at me. That dream, don't let anyone steal it from you. Don't let anyone ever tell you it's not possible. That you are right now in the right place at the right time. You belong to one of the greatest organizations in the V and you belong to one of the greatest companies in the industry of network marketing, QNET. And it's time for you to start today. That today is the new beginning of your journey. That today you start your first day to financial freedom. Are you with me? Yes. Are you with me? Yes. Will you give up after 10 rejections? No. 100 rejections? No. 200 rejections? No. 500 rejections? No. Don't ever, ever give up. I promise you this. If you don't give up, you will make it. It's simple as that. Whether you're building in a tough market, an easy market, a tough environment, if you don't give up, you will make it. Repeat after me. I will make it. I will make it. I will make it. Now, when you face a challenge, no matter how big the challenge is, even if the whole world is against you, I need you to be a warrior. One of your leaders came and spoke about the choice of being a wimp and a warrior. Today, when I send you back after date with destiny, you are warriors. Repeat after me, I am a warrior. I am a warrior. I am a warrior. 
that you not only fight for yourself, but you fight for your downlines. That you are the protector of their dreams. Like I am the protector of your dreams. Kavita is the protector of your dreams. Sachin is the protector of your dreams. Are you with me? Yes. Repeat after me, I am strong. I am strong. And after today, you got one goal. You have one goal that you will fight, you will do, you will die, you will cry, you will scream, but you will not stop until you achieve it. That is max out. Repeat after me. Max out. Max out. Max out. Max out. This is your destiny because it's written there. Dead with destiny. I don't think it's a mistake that you are here. I don't care what your belief system is. I respect all religions. And I think that you are here because God wanted you to be here. That out of 7, 8 billion people in the world, why are you here and not anyone else? That you are here because you were chosen to be here. This is your destiny. That QNET, network marketing, is not a choice. It is a necessity. And you don't have a choice. You must max out. Say, I can. I will. I must. Max out. I can. I will. I must. Max out. And remember this, that no matter where you are, where you are building, you are not alone. That every step you take, I give you my word that I am there with you. You have nothing to fear. Dato Sri Vijay is with you. Japadas Bismarck is with you. Dev Adwani is with you. Sachin is with you. Kavita is with you. That you have nothing to fear. That this is your journey. It is your God-given right to be successful. Just because our great-grandfather was poor, our grandfather was poor, our father was poor, it doesn't mean that we have to be poor. That we can change for the next generation and the next generation. That your great-grandchildren will say thank you to you because you made the most important decision of your journey of life, of coming here for Date with Destiny. Are you with me? So I want to see who's going to max out. Who's going to max out? After today, this week, who's going to find two? Now repeat after me. Chief, I promise I will never, 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 never switch off. Chief, I promise I can, I will max out. That my dream, guys, is to stand on stage, stage next year at Date with Destiny. And when Sachin and Kavita recognizes the men and women who max out in 2018, I want to see you. 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 I want to see you on this stage telling your story and inspiring 50,000 people to do the same. That if one man, one woman can do it, it means it's possible that thousands can, millions can. All we need is you to believe. So repeat after me, I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. Now when I came up on stage tonight, 
I saw your faces. I saw excitement. I saw passion. I saw playfulness. But now I stand and look at you. I see dreamers. I see warriors. I see max out kings. I see max out kings. I see max out queens. And when you leave date with destiny, your belief will be tested. Mark my words. Your closest friends and family will test your belief. And my last message to you tonight, but before that, I want you to bring up, help me bring up the protectors of your dreams. Help me bring up Dev Vadwani, Sati Senati Raja, Sachin Gupta, Kavita, Dick Vijay, Gautam, Amit Soni, Aditya Bala, Aditya Lunawat, Rakesh, Mehul, Mac, Satya, please come up. Now I want you to look at these people up on stage. I want you to look at them on stage. I want you to look at the stars that are lighting up around stage. Because these men and women on stage, your uplines, they are not superhuman. They are not extra special. Because 10 years ago, Kavita and Sachin were sitting there at a VCon. Dev Vadwani reminded me of the VCon he attended in 2007. That when I met all these men and women, they were nobodies. Just like me and Sati when we started. They were nobodies. But today, they are some of the greatest networkers the industry has ever seen. That they are not only respected in QNET, they are respected around the world. And I am telling you, I am telling you, one day they were sitting there and today they are on stage. And if you are sitting here right now in date with destiny, that means one day you can stand on this stage just like them. Now they were warriors. And listen to me. Did they want to give up? Many times. Many times they cried on my shoulder, on Dato Sri's shoulder and Japa's shoulder. They did this. But this didn't last for more than two minutes. They jumped up. And because they are warriors, because they had dreams, because they believe, that's the only reason you are here today. That without a decision they made, you would not be in this arena today. So I want you to show your love, all right, for your uplines, for your warriors. Now, this morning, you're going home on the last day of Date with Destiny, correct? Wrong. This is not the last day of Date with Destiny. This is the first day of Date with Destiny. Let me explain why. Because the last three days, was food important to you? Was sleep important for you? No. Did you feel tired? No. Could you push yourself? Yes. If you live every day, like the three days of date with destiny, I promise you that max out belongs to you. That max out belongs to you.
So again, who's going to find two by Friday? And this week, who's going to focus on presentation? And 2019, when we stand here together, and I ask the question, how many of you last week did five presentation? Who's going to put up your hands? When you face a challenge, when you face negativity, when anyone in your circle of influence says anything negative about QNET, are you going to be a wimp or are you going to be a warrior? When everyone gives up on you, are you going to be a wimp or are you going to be a warrior? When your own family laughs at you, are you going to be a wimp or are you going to be a warrior? You wake up in the morning and you open the newspaper, headlines is negativity about QNET. Are you going to be a wimp? Are you going to be a warrior? Make that decision tonight that nobody is going to steal your dream. You hang on to it. You fight till death if you have to. But tonight you are not networkers. You are warriors. Are you with me? Are you with me? They did not max out because they are smarter than you. They did not max out because they started earlier than you. These men and women maxed out because they were warriors. They never gave up. They never switched off. They fought every day to earn their right to stand on this stage and talk to you guys. But remember this. Remember this. Few years ago, they were sitting there just like you. And they had one thing they had belief. They had no doubt. So repeat after me I believe. I believe. Repeat after me I believe. I believe. I have a song that we played in 1998. The first song that we ever heard in a training was a song called I Believe I Can Fly by R. Kelly. I know the song is very famous that everyone listens to it. But why that song was important to me and Sati and many of us in the beginning? Because we had nothing to believe. We had nothing. We only had two men, Dato Sri Vijay and Japadas Bismarck. We had no building. We had no India. We had no Indonesia. We had nothing. We had no man city. All right? We didn't have sponsorship. We didn't have products. We didn't have an e-commerce e-store. We didn't have anything. We just had these two men, two great men, who made it possible for us to stand on this stage, Dato Sri Vijay and Japa. And both of them told us, guys, we have nothing to show. But I need you to believe. And they promised me 20 years ago, and I remember this when I looked at the crowd running. They promised me 20 years ago that Patman, if you believe in us, we promise you that one day you will be upline to the world. And today, that belief has made that promise into a reality. So date with destiny. of you. I want to say that I, we believe in you and welcome to the first day of the greatest journey of your life to max out. I love you guys. Date with destiny. I love you guys so much. Thank you. I love you guys so much. And I leave you with this song. Sometimes silence can seem so loud. I love you guys. There are miracles in life. I'm I
if I just believe it There's nothing to it I believe I can fly I believe